Hello there everyone and welcome to a new review on the channel and today we're looking at the new reimagined release of T1000 Plus by Hanzo Shen and Nemo Liu, an actual improvement and an actual product that is worth your time compared to the first one, which for those that have been here since the start, one of the first reviews I've ever done on the channel has been T1000 because I really didn't like it and I really didn't find it that good and I kind of slandered it. It was really not that good. It was one of the first ever reviews that I did and I'm happy now to have bought this new upgraded version which has addressed every single thing that I found was an issue with the original one. We're going to talk about that in a moment in the review, but nonetheless, let's roll the intro and get straight into it. Perfect, so you decide to stick around, which means you want to learn more about T1000 Plus. So what is T1000 Plus? It's a routine using hand bracelets, kind of using a um, kind of handcuff routine, kind of things that you could do maybe with elastic bands, but actually doing them with bracelets. So the routine would go as such, you would remove a bracelet, you could give it to the spectator to examine, you would then proceed to remove your second bracelet, give that to the spectator to examine, and then you're good to go in the routine where you would take and kind of create kind of a prison for the bracelet, just like this. And then you could just pull through and have the bracelet link. You would then proceed to unlink just like that. You would then take one of the bracelets, put them in your pocket and then borrow a ring. You could borrow a ring from a spectator or you can take your own ring as you talk. And just like that, the ring links on. And as fast as it links is also as fast as it unlinks. You would then proceed to put your second thing in your pocket and then you could do anything with some rings, right? Any ring magic that you know. And then as you're done with the ring magic, you can take out the bracelets again, hand them out to be examined and place them onto your hand and move on to the next table. That's a really quick rundown of the routine that I like. This is not the routine that's explained in the video. It's just how I would like to do it but some of the things that I did are explained in the video. We're gonna to get to that in due diligence. So first, let's talk about where do you buy this, how much does it cost, and what do you get? So this costs uh, around 30 US dollars. Again, with most of the things on Illusionist, I get the Canadian price, and it's stuck on the Canadian price. I can't switch it back to the US, so I do have the Canadian price, but moving the Canadian price to US dollars should be around 30 to 35 dollars US, and what you get is this box. This is a switch box built in, in the routine. That's not a, a, a spoiler or anything. It's even mentioned in the ad copy. And then what you get inside of this box, you're gonna get two compartments like this. So to hone your bracelets, you're gonna get two normal bracelets, and then you're gonna get another compartment with a gimmick bracelet and another normal bracelet. You don't get the ring or anything. That's essentially what you get. And on top of that, you get a video with Hansen and Nemo Liu that go over the moves, the difficulty, the origins, handling, switches that you could do, ending clean, ringing in the gimmick, giving, having it already on your hands, switching it in. All the good stuff that you need to know is taught in the instructional video. However, the instructional video is dubbed uh, with subtitles in English because it is not originally in English. So do keep that in mind, but it's still a really good video and it's not really difficult to comprehend because the routine is pretty self-explanatory. So now that we've talked about that, let's do a small comparison before actually moving into the actual review because I do want to talk about this because I was really upset with this when I originally got it, not because of the idea or anything, it was just not very workable. For starters, this is what the original bracelets uh, look like. They're not, in my opinion, these are not bracelets. So the person that marketed this as bracelets, these are not bracelets. These are literally like price tags, right? The things that you put for security on your, when you go to like Marshalls and they have things on the clothes, this is what they have. That is not a bracelet. Second, I cannot even pull this over my four fingers and cross my arm. So I could literally never wear this as a bracelet. I can't even put my thumb in it, okay? Whereas these ones, I can wear them as bracelets. The gimmicked one, I cannot wear as a bracelet because the opening of my hand is a bit too big for it. But nonetheless, you can just start the routine as I did with these new ones, remove them, hand one out, do a switch while they're respecting the second one, bring it in, right? You can definitely do that, which 
with this was not possible. I literally had to remove these from my pocket. Like these had to be removed from my pocket and be like, oh, look at these price tags or whatever. And yeah, second of all, these don't look a bra like bracelets, whereas these do. And second of all, the gimmick in this one was very flimsy because of the beads. As you can see, the beads here are very, very small. Whereas here, the beads are pretty big, which means that these are much stronger than these, which lets you do things that you would never be able to do with the original one. For example, the ring one where you literally take the ring and pull it out, you would never be able to do this with this one. Whereas with this one, you can easily just take the ring and pull it out as I just did in the performance. So a lot of improvements here in terms of quality, in terms of strength, in terms of actual usability, in terms of inspectability, in terms of things you get. Look at the box here. This is a cheap plastic box, whereas there's an actual switch box that you can use in your routines that lets you switch in and switch out and also a nice carrying case for what you're getting. Also, these were like silver and cheap. These look like actual things you would buy off Amazon and actual things people wear in real life because they're black, they're stylish. They look overall good. Okay, so I just wanted to do this small comparison before we get into the review. So now that that's out of the way, let's talk about difficulty. Is this difficult to perform? And the answer is no, this is not difficult to perform at all. In the tutorial video, they go through easy, intermediate and difficult handlings for every single thing. They give you easy routines, that which means that you can have the bracelets inspected in a very easy manner using the gimmicked box and using a gimmick box also to end clean. Then you also have an easy routine that doesn't require much sleight of hand, doesn't require much movement, doesn't require the ring, and you need to be able to have to put patterns, super easy, just direct. Then you have intermediate routines that have the inspectability of the bracelets, not using the box, but using some switches in the hand, right? And then a bit of a routine that's a bit more built upon. And then you have the more difficult routine that just has the bracelets removed, with a switch, et cetera, et cetera, an actual built routine that's gonna require a bit more movement, but even then nothing too complicated. And that's definitely good because even the most difficult routine is pretty easy because the gimmick does the work for you. You don't really have to do anything here because the gimmick does the work for you. And I think pretty much everyone knows what the gimmick is. So they see how easy this is actually going to be to perform. The only thing you're gonna have to work around is how do you want to do the ending clean part for me? and I'll give this away to you, I really like to do a presentation where you start out saying, you know, we're gonna pass, um, you know, plastic through plastic, then metal to plastic, and then what's even more impossible is when you put these in your pocket and you do some ring magic and you make metal pass through actual flesh, and then you give away the ring to inspect, you're just taking out from your pocket, having already ditched the gimmick, the two normal bracelets again, and handing them out. And that routine is justified. Everything is justified. The reason you're putting things away is because you want to focus on new things, right? And the fact of ending with metal through flesh or doing, you know, whatever routine you like to do with a ring, it just makes it justifiable that you're not using this anymore. So you're going to put them away, right? And then when you take them back to put them on your hand or have them inspected, it makes sense that you didn't need them for that type of routine and why you're bringing them back which also motivates the switch. That for me is how I would perform this and definitely how I enjoy performing this effect. So definitely difficulty wise, routining wise, nothing too hard, just depends on how you want to ring in, ring out the actual gimmicked bracelet. So let's talk practicality. Is this practical to perform and practical to carry around? So practical to carry around, you will need to carry around at least three bracelets. So if you're a bit, um, you know, if you're a bit advanced and you know some sleight of hand and know how to do some misdirection to do some switches, etc., you will still need uh, two bracelets, your gimmick bracelet, and yeah, to do the routine. That's all you need. So these ones could go on your hand and then you just need to carry around the gimmick bracelet in your pocket or wherever you want. Just carry it around with you. And if you already wear rings, you know, you would have the ring to do in the routine as well that I do or you could borrow a ring that you don't need, really need to carry around. However, if you're a bit cautious that you really don't want to, to do the sleight of hand part, etc., then you will have to carry around this box and this box is gonna let you switch in the gimmicked, the gimmicked uh, bracelet in and out, 
So if you don't want to carry around and do it more like impromptu, you can definitely bring out the box, but you will have to justify why you're carrying around your bracelets in a box, right? You're going to have to justify that. So to me, I really think it's worth putting a bit of time and effort in a routine where you can ring in, ring out the gimmick while everything is on your hand. So you don't have to carry much around with you. And again, some people will be actually able to carry around the gimmick on their wrist, right? If your hand isn't really big on this part, so if you can remove something without like it really stretching right here, so if you have a thinner or smaller hand, you could definitely use the actual gimmick bracelet as a bracelet in real life. But again, you don't really want that because it could get, uh, you know, damaged or you could lose it. So it's much better to just have it in your pocket. Okay, so practicality wise, you can carry this around with you whichever way you want and whichever way you want to carry this, it's not much pocket space. So if you want to carry it in the box, this is pretty small. You can definitely put this inside your pocket, if not just on your hand and in your pocket. So definitely not much to carry around. And also practicality wise, this can be done sitting up, sitting down. There's no lighting conditions. There's no angle restrictions. If you're doing the linking ring one, maybe there's a bit of an angle, but you could definitely cover it even if people are around you. So there's pretty no, pretty much no angle restrictions whatsoever for this effect as well, which is definitely great. So it's easy to carry around, has no angle problems, and the reset is instant. Again, if you do the routine that I showed you, the, the gimmick bracelet ends in the pocket where it comes from for the switch, and these bracelets end on a table for you to be able to put on your hand and go again. So instant reset as well. Definitely, definitely practical. So let's talk about now where to perform this. So where would you perform T1000 plus? So you would definitely perform this in casual walk around performances. You would not do this in parlor. You would not do this in stage. You would definitely do this as a walk around thing at a bar, at a restaurant, table hopping at banquets or cocktails or something just on the street or something at home with your friends or something, you know, when you go out to a movie or anything like that, if someone asks you to do something, def definitely like a casual type performance. You know, someone asks you, oh, can you show me something? And you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I have here my bracelets. Can you inspect this one, this one? And you go into the routine. So performance wise, definitely something casual, casual table hopping, anything like that close up because you don't want to be like really far away when you do the link and unlink because people could be like, oh, were they actually linked or was it just like an illusion? You really can get like up close and personal with this and people can actually see the thing go through. So definitely you want this to be something close up, not stage or parlor, anything like that. So now that, now that we've discussed pretty much everything surrounding this product, let's give some cons and some pros. So let's start. Usually I like to start with the cons. So we're going to continue with that trend. Let's start with the cons. So what are the cons of T1000 plus? So one of them is some people that would have wished to carry around the bracelet on their hand and have it like an impromptu reveal will still not have hands big enough to remove the gimmick bracelet off the hand. So they will have to do a switch. But that to me is not of an issue because these normal bracelets will fit anyone. They're super, super elastic. I think these will fit pretty much anyone. These fit me really loosely. Look at this. I still have space. So this are going to fit pretty much anyone. So you're good there. But I know for some people, they really wanted to carry on the giving bracelet around the wrist and have it really impromptu. I know on the forums, etc., people really wanted that. And they're requesting like a deluxe edition that is an XL bracelet, right? But apart from that, you know, you do have options, which is great. And that is pretty much the only negative I have because all the negatives I had on this product originally were solved here. This one is more durable. It actually looks like a bracelet. So I can't really give those as negatives, which I did do with the original one, right? So negative wise, I think it's only the fact that some people may not actually want to carry around as a bracelet and maybe a negative magician thinking again, but I know some people are like, oh, this is too obvious to fly by. But I honestly think that if you present this well, you do the switch as well, you do the routine well, and you actually have justification for what's going on. I do think this is going to fool people. And the fact that they've inspected both bracelets beginning and end, I think that, you know, you thinking, oh, this is too easy. Everyone knows what this is, is not actually going to happen. But I do know it's an issue to some, so I'm going to address it. Apart from that, what are the positives? What are the positives of this? The routine is super easy to do. The gimmicks that you get are actually good, well-made, actually look like bracelets. They're durable. 
The gimmick is great. It's super strong. It's going to let you do super visual things. You can use rings, borrowed rings. It's an impromptu routine. It's pretty much, uh, you know, ready to go. It has no reset. You can perform it, walk around all the time. It has almost virtually no angle restrictions. You're getting a lot of things for your money. You're getting the switch box. You're getting four bracelets, three and gimmick, one gimmick, a routine, a video with routines. That is very, very good. So you're getting a lot of stuff for your money here. So let's talk about what would I recommend this? Yes or no. And what do I think of it on a scale from one to 10? Would I recommend this? Yes, I think if you like the effect, this routine is the one for you. I think that it's super fun to perform, super visual, and something that a lot of people are going to be happy to own because it's really, really, really good. So I definitely recommend this if you like what it is. If you don't see yourself performing this ever, of course, it's not recommended for you. But I do think that you can find a lot of uses with this and a lot of people are going to enjoy this compared to the original one. What would I rate T1000 Plus? on 10, I would rate it an 8.75 on 10. It is really, really good. It is really, really fun to perform in something really good to have with a lot of options. So definitely, definitely recommend this. A big step up from the original one, which I did give, I think a 5.56 if I was being nice. So a big step up and you can see that I really enjoy this effect compared to the original one and it really is an improvement. That's all I have to say about this. I hope this was informative. Make sure to like, subscribe, and also tell me in the comments below if you like it, what do you think of it? Is it something you're willing to buy? Is it something you already own? Do you have questions about it? Do you want to know my routine about it? Maybe I'll show it in the live. Make sure to comment down below and uh, I'll make sure to answer. Thank you for watching and see you in the next review. Bye-bye.